Hey everybody, Matt here with Take Roads Less Traveled, and today we are looking at this GM cluster swap on the GMT 800s. That is the Silverados, the Suburbans, Tahoe, Sierras, Yukons, Yukon XLs, Escalade, Escalade EXT, and Chevy Avalanches from 99 to 2006. The process is going to be the same, however, remember that 2003 they introduced a different plug style on the gauge cluster. So only use gauge clusters that work with your range of vehicles. So 1999 to 2002 work in amongst those years. 2003, <coughs> excuse me, 2003 to 2006 work within those years. You can't inter swap between those two sets because the plug is different. So we're gonna get right into it. This is a real easy process with very, very little tools and very little time. All right, first things first is we actually need to lower this steering wheel down. So you're gonna need your keys. Just gonna put them in. Make sure that your parking brake is set, and we're just gonna take, drop that steering wheel all the, all the way down. You don't need to start the vehicle, just put it into accessory mode, and you're gonna bring that gear lever all the way down into first gear. That gives you plenty of room to work with. Next up, we're gonna take a little plastic shim. This is great for removing uh, trim pieces. And we're just gonna take and work it right into this edge on this dash bezel. I'm gonna pop it in and then you can just take and start at one corner. Then you can start pulling the whole thing out. It's real easy. You wanna be careful because these bezels can break pretty easily and it's something we wanna avoid. So you don't wanna just pull on it. You wanna make sure you're using this tool to work your way around. Otherwise you can crack and break that bezel which is something you just don't wanna do. So. That's out of the way, nice and easy. Next, we need to remove the gauge cluster. This is really easy. All you need is a ratchet, an extension, and a seven millimeter socket. You have four bolts. They're right up at the corners of the cluster. Let me get this in a little closer so you guys can see. So you have one here, you have one right down here, and on the other side, corresponding areas. So real easy. Not that hard to get to or anything. And we just gotta pull those out. Like I said, you need to make sure you have your steering wheel down all the way. Sorry about that. Let me get down to this bottom one down here. And once you loosen them, you can just do it by hand, really. It's a lot less annoying. It goes a lot quicker that way, too. So I'm doing this all in real time so you guys can see exactly how long this takes. This is a very, very easy swap to do. Now, when you're doing these swaps, the main reason for doing them is uh, really if your vehicle does not have the transmission temperature gauge in the bottom left corner of your cluster. So a lot of guys will do this swap for that reason and they'll pull the gauge cluster out of either a heavy duty truck, a Denali SUV, or one of the Cadillac models. All of those have the transmission temperature gauge. And that's really the main reason guys will do the swap is so they can have that, which is why I did the swap. I wanted to have that transmission temperature gauge. Now, I got mine out of an Escalade, and they're a little harder to find out of the Escalades, but they're not too bad. I was able to pick mine up from a junkyard for $40, which is a great deal. The other thing is when you when you do the swap, generally you're gonna wanna make sure that your mileage uh, gets corrected, and that's actually stored in the gauge cluster itself. It's not stored in, in the computer that's in the vehicle underneath the, underneath the hood, in the engine bay. It's actually stored into the cluster. And so there's a few different companies that you can go through to get that reprogrammed. You could take it to a dealership and get it reprogrammed. But down in the description below, you're going to see a link for Tactronics. Guy Randy that oversees that, he does a great job rebuilding the GM gauge clusters. He redid all of the backlighting on mine. Uh, I just had him do the factory backlighting. 
uh, so it would match everything else. But he can do LED backlighting of various colors. He can put different gauge faces on there, different needles, everything. It, he does a great, great job. And he gave me a, a really good deal on it. And I'm going to tell you right now, the cluster plus shipping plus him doing all the work, which his work includes a one-year warranty, it was all under $200. And that that is a really good deal. You're not even going to touch that in order to have a dealership do that or anything like that. And he reprogrammed my mileage and he reprogrammed my engine hours to match the truck with what it had. So we've got those four bolts out real quick, real easy. All we're going to do is just pull this out, pull the bottom out first, and then you can rotate it around. I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see this. But right here, you've got a plug right on the back side there. And all we're going to do is take, and you're going to press up on this bottom one and down on this top one, and you'll be able to pull it out. I'll show you guys that real quick. So now that I have that, I can just kind of wiggle that a little bit. And that's it. She's out. And the process to put it back in is the exact opposite. Take your new one, start it in there a little bit. Line your plug up. Once it makes connection, you're gonna hear that whirring sound, and that's gonna tell you that you're all plugged in. Now, when you put it in, you've got four, or I'm sorry, you've got two guide pins down on the bottom here. They're on the outer edges. Just make sure those get lined up, then you're just gonna put your bolts back in. When you put those back in, just remember, you are you don't need to crank these down real tight. You just need them snug, and it'll hold the gauge cluster back in. Then you put your trim panel back on, and that's it. That's how you redo a gauge cluster, reinstall a brand new gauge cluster, do the swap on these 99 to 06 GMT 800s. Like I said, on in 03, they changed that plug design, and the difference is rather than being on the back of the plug, uh, like the 03 to 06s are, the 99 to 2002s have the plug on the top. So it's a little bit different, but same premise overall throughout the entire range. Like I said, just make sure you're getting the cluster from the right year of vehicle. Great way to know if you're getting the right year of vehicle is to look at the door jam. And on that door jam, you'll see a sticker right here. And you can see mine was built in January of 2006. That makes mine 2006. So that tells me that I knew I needed to find a cluster out of an 03 to 06. So guys, I hope this helps, and we'll see you on the next video.